I am standing by with the newest sideline reporter for the Detroit Lions that you'll be, he you'll be heard on 97.1 during all of the games. I mean, when you got the news that you were like, hey, you're kind of in this position to be the sideline reporter, what was your reaction, TJ? Well, I was excited. And honestly, this, this had been something that was sort of in the plans for last season. But um, I think, we, you know, obviously going through COVID and uh, lockdowns and everything didn't end up happening. But I was, I was excited. It's always been something that... Uh, I've enjoyed doing radio. I've had a couple chances to, uh, you know, be an analyst for high school games and college games. And it's it's just something that I've always wanted to do. So uh, the timing was perfect, you know, going back to 97-1 and the relationships I have with those guys. And obviously uh, the relationships I still have uh, with a lot of people here here with the Lions. Um, it just it just worked out and I'm excited to do it. It's, it's I've been retired for three years now and go a little stir crazy when you're at home that long, but um, it's, I, I'm ready. It's, it's, I've always wanted to stay around the game and, and to be able to, um, you know, be around the hometown team, the team I retired with, uh, you know, it, it'll be a lot of fun. How have you prepared for this? <laughs> well, you know, the good part about being on the sideline is I get to listen and Dan and Lomas talk first and then I get to chime in. So I get to, I, I always, I tell people, those guys really have the heavy lifting when it comes to the radio, but um, being on the field, I mean, you know, you just get a different perspective and, uh, whether it's, you know, hearing the players talk, coaches talk, uh, some things you can't hear from the booth. I think um, it'll be a little bit unique and, and just different. So, uh, but I'm excited. I mean, Dan Miller obviously is one of the best uh, at what he does. Lomas is incredible with the insight that he has from, you know, playing 30 years, however long Lomas played. Um, it'll be fun, though. I'm just looking to, you know, kind of add a little bit of a different perspective from the field level and, um you know, kind of let those guys up in the booth and the in the in the audience know, you know, what's going down on the field because, as you know, I mean, it, it's very different. Yeah, I mean, you got people in your ear talking mm -hmm. while you're trying to talk. You've got people. Oh, the That's fans gonna are going to go wild. To. <laughs> you're going to be walking around the field. The fans are going to be like, TJ, you got to deal with a lot of stuff. Well, that, I have headphones on, thankfully. So I know, and you just got to be like, I can't hear you. Yeah. Even though you can definitely hear that. The one thing about the NFL too is, like you said, you have people in your headphone and your ears talking to you. Um, when I was doing high school and college, you like you don't have anybody. So you're there like with the binoculars trying to find. So a little bit better production this time. Those guys do a lot of the heavy work also, but um, it's going to be fun. I mean, I can't wait just to be, look, I'm a fan too, just like everybody else. Last year was tough, just not being able to go to the games and just the games that I was at doing the pregame and postgame shows. It just, it, it didn't feel right. So now being able to go back to the games in person, stand on the sideline where all the action's happening, um, the little fanboy in me <laughs> is 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 really excited to get a chance to do it. I love that. I mean, you've been out here oh, pretty much almost every practice yeah, day. A couple days now. Yeah. yeah. I want to know what are your observations of this new regime, this new team. Well, it's kind of hard to, to tell just by watching them, right? But I think the one thing that sticks out to me is just the the energy level, you know. And these guys have been in pads now for a few days, and usually when you get to day three or four of pads, it starts kind of guys start getting a little irritated and a little grumpy, especially the vets. But, um, you know, being out here today and watching these guys compete, I mean, it's just, it kind of has a different feel to it. And it's uh, obviously new staff coming in, a lot of new players, but that gives everybody a chance. Maybe some guys had a tough time last year, a couple years ago, everybody gets a fresh start. Everybody's out here to, you know, if a young guy prove you can do it. If an older guy prove you can still do it. So um, the energy has been great. And just talking to a couple of the guys that I played with, um, you know, I, I think there's just a lot of excitement. I think Dan Campbell's a guy, obviously watching him in, in the press conferences and the speeches that he gives. I mean, just the passion and the energy that he brings is something that uh, is very contagious, rubs off to the rest of the team. And you know, I think they'll be, a, I think they can be a fun team to watch this year. Next Friday, preseason game number one. Starting already, I can't Is that your it. first at bat? It is, yes. Let's and go. Uh, I'll probably be in preseason mode as well. It might take a little while to get, get the chemistry down with Dan and Lomas, but I've known those guys for a long time now, great people. And, um, you know, I'm excited, a little bit nervous as well. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. And, and uh, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. I'm excited, though. I mean, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm just excited for football to be back. I think most of us are.